In this problem, we have a thin walled uh, section. This section is subjected to a shear force in the y direction, which is equal to 2100 pounds. And you want to determine the value of shear flow at different locations, at points B, C, and F. First, what is shear flow? Shear flow is simply shear stress times the, sec the thickness, which can be calculated from this equation, VQ over I. And note that the T is cancelled here. So what do I need to determine here is the value of shear force, the value of first moment of area, or Q, and the value of moment of inertia, or I. The V is given, the shear force is given for this section, so I need to determine the moment of inertia. I will use a SIGPRO application to determine the moment of inertia. So as we can see here, the centroid of section is located 4.83 inch above the bottom of the section, and moment of inertia around the horizontal axis, or z-axis, is 173 inch to the fourth. So knowing the value of shear force and the value of moment of inertia, the only other parameters that need that we need to determine here is the value of Q, or the first moment of area. The value of Q depends on the point of interest, and I need to determine this for each of these points separately. Let me first talk about point B, which is located on the top of this element. Point B is in flange, so I need to cut my section at point B, and I need to cut it vertically, because the element that I have here is in horizontal direction. So if I cut my section, I would see element, uh, I would see an, an area like this. I need to determine the value of Q for this section, which is colored in purple. The height of that is half inch, and the width of that is half of B1, which is six inch. The centroid of the entire section is located 4.83 inch above the bottom of surface. Centroid of the subsection is located 8.25 inch from the bottom of section. So the distance of the centroid of this section to the centroid of the entire section would be 8.25 minus 4.83 that would be 3.42 inch. Q would be A times D that would be 6 times 0.5 times 3.42, which is equal to 10.26 inch cube. And the value of shear flow at point B would be VQ at that point divided by I. Again, remember that the value of shear force and moment of inertia is constant. The only parameter that is changing is the first moment of area, or Q, which depends on the point of interest. <coughs> shear force is 2100 pounds, Q is 10.26 inch cubed, and moment of inertia is 173 inch to the fourth. So the shear flow at this point would be 124.5 pounds per inch. For point F, I can do the same thing. Um, point F is located at the horizontal element, so I need to cut my section at that point and determine the value of Q for this purple section. Width of this subsection is uh, B2 over 2, which is 4 inch, and the thickness of that is T, which is half inch. The centroid of entire section again is located 4.83 inch from the bottom of surface and the distance of centroid of this subsection to the centroid of the entire section. D for this subsection would be 4.83 minus half of half inch. That gives me 4.58 inch. Now I can calculate the value of Q for point F. That would be area times D. Area is 4 times half inch and D is 4.58. So Q for this section would be 9.16 inch cubed. And I can determine the value of shear flow at point F. Again, V is the same 
i is the same, the only parameter that is changing is q. If I do the calculation, that gives me the value of shear flow at that point equal to 111.2 pound per inch. For point C, I have two options actually. I can go and consider the area above point C or below point C. Because point C, both methods should give me the same value. To determine the value of Q for point C, I will consider the bottom part of this beam and I will split it into two parts. The bottom part is flange. Um, the area of this flange is 8 times half inch and because the center of the section is located 4.83 inch above the bottom of the section height of the web of this subsection would be 4.33 inch now I'll, I will get back to the calculation of Q for the bottom element for the flange area would be 8 times half and D for this element would be 4.83 minus half of thickness and for the second part of this subsection the height of that is 4.33 the thickness of that is half inch so area would be 4.33 times half and the centroid of this subsection is located 4.33 over 2 from the centroid of the entire section so that gives me D now, the value of Q for this point would be 23. Once the value of Q is determined, I can go and determine the value of shear flow for this point, which is VQ over I. Again, shear force is unchanged. It is equal to 2100 pounds. Q is 23 inch cubed. And the moment of inertia is 173 that gives me the value of shear flow equal to 279 pound per inch and that is the answer of part b of this problem remember the values that we have determined here are a shear flow if i want to determine the value of shear stress i need to divide these values by thickness so thickness in all of these points b c and f is half inch so I can divide these values by 0.5 to determine the value of shear stress at point B, F and C. That is the answer of this problem. That's it.